So I very rarely do this, but this month at Jewel Mint, I enjoyed two pieces. I really, really like two pieces that I saw in my June showroom. And if you do do Jewel Mint, you can always select other pieces. Don't feel like you're restricted to what's in your showroom because I very often don't love what they put in there. I don't know why they don't get the idea, but it just happens. So make sure you always kind of explore what else they're doing. But this month I also really love these sugar pop earrings. So they're a 10 karat gold plated pair and they're two and a quarter inch long. Okay, but they have colors of lemon yellow, peridot, pink hyacinth, and tangerine tango. Tangerine tango, the color of the year by um, Pantone. I wonder if they kind of purposely did that. That was smart of them. So these are what the earrings look like, and they are, they're kind of just juicy. Um, I'm surprised they just put them in the bag kind of free-falling. Usually they have a nice little like piece that they put them on. Um, but these are what they look like. They are two and a quarter inch long, so they're kind of long. They're kind of big, but at the same time, I just really like that about them because they're kind of that, you know, like fashion jewelry. They're this big, juicy, and that's what I thought of immediately, this kind of juicy orange jewel in the middle here, which is really pretty and super summery. And then at the top here, it has these really pretty lime green crystals. And then this is like enamel, this kind of yellow, bright yellow enamel. Okay, and then one little hot pink fuchsia crystal in the middle there. So all together, it just gave this kind of really nice summery presentation. And I just thought that they would be super pretty, kind of just really, just really summery and fun and just kind of like that one, you know, like fashion statement earring that would be great for summer. The, it is a pierced, it is a post earring, but they have this nice little clip feature, which is actually really nice of them because it is a little bit of a heavier earring because it's so long and it dangles that it's nice to have this kind of clip post because it kind of helps distribute the weight a little bit and um, just gives it a little bit more of a firmer, more stable backing so that it doesn't kind of fall off your ear then or kind of tug on your ear in that way. Kind of tentatively pierced them onto this little piece of foam here so you can see them against a nice black background. The jewels are actually pretty good. I mean, they are, they're not like a real jewel or anything. They are plastic. But they're cut nicely so that they do have a decent amount of reflection to them. Okay? And they are kind of a transparent jewel. If I put it on this white piece of paper here, you can kind of see. It's just this kind of see-through plastic. But overall, the presentation is really nice. I think it's a big enough jewel. And I think that the smaller details around it are nice and detailed enough that it gives it an overall more polished look. It doesn't look cheap or anything in my mind. So I could totally just see myself wearing these like as kind of that that one kind of piece. I'm not super extravagant with my jewelry and I'm not super matchy matchy with my jewelry either. But um, if you've noticed, I've been wearing these little friendship bracelets because hopefully I've put the video up before this. And it was just kind of nice because the bracelets match the colors that are in the earrings. I don't know if they purposely did it, but there's an orange bracelet, there's a cherry bracelet, and a green bracelet. And it kind of matches the earring nice where it has this orange, this yellow, this lime green, and then the little fuchsia center. Now, the context of the two pieces, I'm not so sure if I would actually wear them together because these are so laid back and these are so kind of dressier. But I think if you wanted to, what would be a really great way to dress these down and still wear the friendship bracelets is if you just wore like a white tank top. Just a white, it could be like um, a Y-back tank top or just a regular strap tank top. But if you just wear a white tank top and jean shorts or jean capris and then you wear these pieces with it, it's just kind of, that's how I like to kind of style my jewelry. Where if I'm going to do something like colorful and bright with my jewelry, then I like to do something neutral um, with my clothing and kind of vice versa. So 
I would totally wear these with like a khaki colored shirt, a black shirt, a navy shirt, a white shirt, just any kind of nice neutral color and then just keep everything else simple. I wouldn't wear a necklace with it um, because it's so close to your ears. I prefer to do earrings and bracelet or like just a necklace and studs kind of thing. So this kind of dangly earring, I'll probably most of the time wear them by them alone. But at the same time, I do have these friendship bracelets that I think I could easily pair with them as long as I keep the clothing really casual. If the clothing is a little bit, say, a really nice tank top, just a nicer quality fabric, if it's more of like a tighter fitted tank top or you know a polo shirt or um, a button down blouse kind of thing or a silk shirt then I wouldn't really necessarily wear these bracelets I would just go with the earrings for that kind of pop of color I'm not a huge, I'm not a stylist, I'm not a beauty guru, I'm just an everyday person and I happen to like these things so I'm just telling you that this is how I think I'm going to wear it and it's just a suggestion but if you have suggestions feel free to leave it in the comments below because these are kind of a awesome fashion piece jewelry item where you could have a lot of fun with them so these are the Sugar Pop Earrings by Jewel Mint and this was my June showroom piece.